I'm going to talk about drawing options in ProRealTime. To access the drawing options, go to Options and select first Platform Options. This window will open. The drawing options are right here in the general section. First is cursor mode after each drawing. This is activated by default and it means that after you draw an object, the cursor will revert to cursor mode. If you turn this option off, it will remain in drawing mode. For example, since I've turned the option to off, I can now draw a segment, then immediately draw another segment. If I want to go back to using the cursor, I can just click here on cursor. The next option is Drawing Assistance. When Drawing Assistance is activated, it means that when you draw a line, your cursor will automatically stick to important points of the candlestick. For example, the low point, and then the open, or close, or the high. This makes it easier to draw your lines. The next option is lines displayed on inferior time units. Here we have a chart of GBPUSD in one hour. Let's also change this chart to GBPUSD and select a five minute time frame. We'll then zoom out. You see the line that we drew here in one hour time frame is also shown here on the five minute time frame. The next option is display cursor details on chart windows. If I activate this and then hover my mouse over the chart, the cursor details will be shown as you can see here. Next is display candlestick periods on inferior time units. When this is activated and I put my cursor over a candlestick on the one hour chart, the corresponding period is highlighted on the five minute chart. So all the candles in that highlighted bar on the five minute chart correspond to the candlestick that my mouse is on in the one hour time frame. The next option is display objects. This is just a quick way to display or hide your objects. And then display comments which displays or hides a comment zone that you can enlarge or reduce in size. To learn more, click on one of the links that appears on the screen.